good morning everybody I guess uh, I'm gonna do this I'm trying to make sure I have enough videos for you guys for next week so you'll probably see this video maybe next week and be like well, what is she talking about anyways uh, today we are going to try out a few things I have already prepped my skin I washed it with the old Hendrix cleaning truth foaming cleanser blah 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 and I'm gonna be on that for a while we're only like there so and I did the dear she bamboo charcoal peel off facial mask this morning and sadly my container that was holding all my sample moisturizers and stuff I accidentally dropped and broke so I could actually get the last bit of it out and use it so I did finish up the Ahava Mineral Radiance Energizing Day Cream and the number seven Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Serum. And I'm still on Clinique's Pep Start Eye Cream. And I did go ahead and exfoliate my lips because they've been killing me for a day or so with the Pure Plumping Lip Exfoliator. I don't see no plumping, but is one heck of a good exfoliator. All right, today we are going to test out, at least starting out, the CoverGirls uh, BB cream. It's got an SPF 21. And if it was sunny outside and instead of three feet of snow, that would be awesome. It's snow outside, so I'm not going outside. But it's supposed to be light to medium, so there's a good chance this is going to be a little dark. Uh, today we will be also trying on some of my Ipsy products, so you can kind of see how that wears, but this is what we're starting with. cream it doesn't have a smell to it yes it's a BB cream so it's not going to be like a foundation or anything but on days that you just kind of want something on your skin it's not going to do anything to help you cover that you're going to definitely need your CC cream for that or foundation but this is just you know say you're having one of those days where your skin's looking pretty good and it don't really need a whole lot of coverage but you want something this would be something so far I need to see if this is going to make my face oily because I'll be mainly using it in the summertime and that's when my face gets extremely oily. So if it doesn't now, it's going bye byes uh, I already put on my brows, did a little bit of contouring. My brows are still a work in progress and as I, I look in the mirror down here, I can still see them and they're nowhere close to where I want them. But it's pretty bad when you use four different products for your brows. And today I was a new addition into my whole brow exploration situation is I found this MAC pencil. Of course it's in the wrong color for me. This is a... Uh, I don't think I found the name like the last time. But I believe we got it in a boxy charm or something like that a while ago. It's that color. Now that light brown might be good if I dye my hair back to red or anything like that, but with it still washing, the dark hair washing out of my hair right now, it looks weird. Alright, the next thing we're going to move on to, actually, for this, that BB cream, so far I gotta say, it's laying pretty good. It's dried down. I did set it with a powder just in case. Just in case. Um, I've had this butter blush from Physicians Formula and it's a natural glow. I don't I didn't really look at the box when I put it together so yeah anyway uh I don't know I've been kind of curious about it looks like that are we gonna be able to see it on my skin? Maybe all right Woo! and there's that coconut smell um, and I got a few things in my Ipsy bag, and I'm just not sure. 
I do have a City Color Glow Duo and Cream and Powder. Though I think I'm going to use the powder. Mm, you know what? We're going to use these on our eyes. So for our highlight, we're going to use the Winky Lux Charm. Look how cute the little box is. one of those glowy faces today. It's only like a light pink monochromatic. I don't know if you'd be able to know. All right. Oh. All right. The blush, the blush isn't too bad. Um, it's a little light. It might look better if I have foundation on my skin, or it might look better if I'm trying to clean up foundation or CC cream that apparently leaked out. Or it might look better when I have my light tan. This way, it kind of gives my cheeks a little glow. I'm gonna keep going to it, and I'm gonna put it back in my summer bin, which I started a summer bin, so that's there. Um, you may not have been able to see it, but me. I can see it in person. Like, I wonder. Don't put that on your nose or your cupid's bow. You know, I just, those were just where I normally go. Wasn't even thinking about it. I had this big pinkish monochromatic, however you say it, going right down my nose. And it just did not look right. All right, so we are going to try out some eye stuff. Actually, one's... That City Duel from that I got in one of my Ipsy bags, the Glow Duel Cream and Powder. This one's got like a cream feeling to it. I'm not big on cream highlighters, so that's why I'm going to try to do something with my eyes or something. And this one over here is more powdery feeling. And I don't see that going on as a highlighter on my skin. And we'll also be trying another, an actual eyeshadow, Suprematic from Douce or however you say it. We're just going to blend colors together. We don't know how this is going to look. But it's like a purple glittery color. Oh, this should be pretty together. I mean... Let's see. I have an eyeliner that I've been waiting to use. It's by Santi. It's the Diamond Makeup Pencil and Ocean Blue. It was already in the box. We're just going to go with it. It might not be too bad. It might be something different outside my comfort zone. That's what we want. And we're going to use the Ico Lash Alert Mascara that came in my Ipsy bag. It's one of those squeezable tubes. And the wand looks like.
digging around in my Ipsy bags while I was putting stuff on and I came across Tarte Sex Kitten eyeliner pencil. And I was like, well, I already have an eyeliner I want to put on my bottom line. I would I might as well go ahead and test out trying to wing since next week will be all I'm testing on myself. No, I'm not showing you because uh, wings are a pain in the butt and you got to figure those things out kind of on your own because everybody's eye shape's different. I have, you know, like me, I have different folds and when I smile, you can see this one, but when I had this one, this one over here looking like this one, you couldn't see it at all when I smiled because it was inside a line. So I got to work on that one. Um, but it's pretty black. It's just a little rough to try to do on an eyelid. Preferably waterline would probably be best. Like the bottom waterline, whatever you want to call it. Alright, um, as for the Doucet Freematic Eyeshadow and Lola, this stuff, even wet in a brush, it doesn't, if you want a, a little flirty, girly colored look on your eyeshadow or eyelids, then this would be it. If you want more of a pop-out, stand-out color, this is not it. So what I did was, since I was going to use these for eyeshadows also, I put the gold on top of it, and it gave it like a like a goldy pink color. It kind of looked like the highlighter I just put on earlier with this uh, dual chromatic situation going on. Um, it It's not bad. Don't laugh at me, I didn't do a whole lot of blending this time, but I don't know how much you guys can actually see until I go back and you know, re edit my video. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. And I used the cream stuff, cream eyeshadow, or the cream highlighter up on my brow bones and I put it in the corner of my eye, as you've seen, and it dried down pretty nicely. Now, I gotta say that do say eyeshadow since I had glitter in it, it did throw out a crap load of glitter on my face. As for the Santi Diamond Makeup Pencil in Ocean Blue, it's a light color. I'm not sure if you guys can actually see it, but I can see it in person. It's very nice. It kind of gives it that extra pop that I've been wanting in my eye look. And it's not like bright in your face, boom, bright electric blue, but it's a like a periwinkle blue with some glitter. Hopefully that don't kill my eyeballs. And next we have the Ico Lash Alert Mascara. This takes about two layers to get it to build to a nice solid eyelash. Uh, I was having issues with it showing up on my bottom lashes and there's lashes there but for some reason it just did not want to show up so that I might have to use something else on the bottom lash. Alright, that'll do. And I will see you guys later and I will try to get this video. Alright, it's actually been about 11 hours. I had a couple episodes today. Um... I could feel the roar of a seizure coming on during my earlier videos and it didn't stop me. I tried to record as much as possible. I know I didn't talk much about what the lipstick was, but it's actually the pure lipstick. It's called Jezebel. And it's pretty smooth. It's not long lasting at all. It it won't make it through a BLT. That's what I had for dinner, so you know. It it didn't last that long for that, but it is a pretty color. I'm willing to throw it in my purse or whatever if I'm going out somewhere to reapply it. It's not patchy and it's not creamy, but it's really smooth like a gloss. All right, as for the CoverGirl BB cream, I'm going to put this in with my summer in my summer bin. This way I can have it thin. Right now it's it's BB cream, you know. <laughs> It's not set and funny or anything. It's not exaggerating any lines or texture. It's not making my pores look humongous. So, I mean, it's light to medium. That'll be where I'm actually at during, you know, the summertime. 
the blush I'm going to throw it in with my Summer Ben stuff too just to give myself a you know a little pretty shine or whatever it's not very pink it's more of a shine so I'm going to put it in there continue using it then see how I like it then the Quinky Lux highlighter the dual chrome dual chrome highlighter is I'm going to try it out a couple more times. I may keep a hold of it. Um, I actually could put it over top of lipstick and it looks looks kind of cool too. So I'm going to continue trying that. The Duce Free Matic Eyeshadow. I'm going to try this in a, you know, like a transition shade and start on my lid and see if that's any, has any hope because it is a lighter color. Um, if it doesn't give me what I want, I will chuck it. So that'll go into one of the other bins for me to continue trying. The Glow Duo, the city color. This, this is perfect for my eyes. I can't see myself putting this on as a highlighter and I don't like cream highlighters. So I will keep playing with this on my eyes and see where I go from there. My wings are gone. I ended up wiping them off after I done my Ipsy video because uh, <laughs> it looked ridiculous. <laughs> um, other than that, I want to try it on my waterline so it'll go into another bin for me to try out and test and decide if it's going to stay there or not. The Ico Lashes, I'm going to give it another try. I think it's weird that it says squeezy tube, but I guess, I guess that's a new thing to do. I don't know. Um, my lashes still actually have a curl to them. They're not clumped together really. I mean, there's a couple strands over there. <laughs> um, it wasn't what you thought I was going to say. I was having a moment. It's alright. Um, but it does kind of flake off. An eyeliner pencil, it's something you'd have to add a couple times each day. It's beautiful, It it's not, like I said before, it's not that bright in your face type of look. It is a nice soft blue color, which would make any anybody's eye color pop. But that is all I have for you guys tonight. I, I'm really tired and I just want to go to get a shower and go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow.